I think virtual events is about a discourse between Eastern and Western culture. It's also a reflection of my uh, upbringing in Malaysia, and then you know, to and I have lived in UK in London for over 20 years. So it's very much a semi-autobiographical recount of that. But I think the whole premise of it started. Uh, with the invitation to the Biennale two years ago in 2004, we wanted a special project, a project that reflects my background, my understanding uh, of Eastern and Western culture. That was really key. Also, that you know, we are in day, day and age of digital architecture now. Um, we wanted to be represented in this wonderful arena of the Biennale in a different kind of context, different thinking, different medium, and, and so forth. And I think that was the beginning of the conversation for the project. Yes, and um, what is the relationship, the relationship between Virtual Venice and uh, the rest of your work? Uh, I, yes. I think Virtual Venice was a departure, actually, mm -hmm. which um, up to the point before we started uh, Venice, we were working a lot in technological things and, and so forth. I think the, the connection is narratives. We work a lot on narratives. And uh, we worked on, early, a few years back, we worked on Sins, which is about the seven deadly sins. Uh, we worked on a series of projects based on Alice in Wonderland. And now uh, this is to do with Virtually Venice. Uh, but the, the connection between old work and new work is narrative. But I have to say, the departure of a new conversation has to be this way of working is Venice. It's a new beginning. And it was, in a way, quite exciting for us to do, to try something new for a big event. We don't try in small projects, we, we try in a big event. Yeah, maybe you can explain the, the, the importance of cameras, of devices to, to take pictures in the work. And it's also part of the installation. Yeah, I think the, the cameras that we have here, which contains all the um, models, basically is a metaphor for representing Venice in many guises, in the most poetic sense, because Venice is the most photographed um, city in the world. And also the way of working, we use a lot of the, the camera and the copying of the photocopy from references and so forth. So the things that, in a way, the captured image of the camera is very important. We use photograms, which were very much inspired by Marais way of making images. So we get the model, we make photograms, we then cut it, and then we make it into a drawing, which is very unusual way of work. Usually it's the other way around. You make a model and you photograph it, end of story. Now we do it the reverse. And it seems that we have been doing everything in the reverse order. <laughs> Yes, it's right, because there is um, um, a complex status, because your, your drawings look as models, and the models could be drawings, and uh, you have a photomontage and collage. Yes, can you explain a bit more these uh, hybrid techniques that you use? Yeah, I think the technique was predominantly... Um, we wanted to really represent the Eastern influences in the project. And one way of doing it, rather than as drawing, we actually took bits of textile references, historical costume references, uh, material references from the East and so forth, and collage it into, a, hopefully, our language of making architecture. A language which is not through a digital medium, a language through cultural understanding. And to us, that was really important. And the repetition of the photocopy allowed us to, in a way, manufacture this sort of materials for our drawings, for our models. And you're absolutely right. I mean, I can't say that a drawing is a drawing or model is a model because they are all a hybridized of each other. And I think it's, um, to me, an interesting departure of thinking about spaces and, and making architectural programs. But I think the technique is a very unique one because um, it, by doing collages and taking direct references and making it into our own tectonic language, it keeps reminding us of what the project was about. And I think in a way, because we are so interested in cultural background to inform our architecture, that was one of the methods we, we thought was quite interesting to work with.
Yeah, and uh, maybe just a, a last question. Yes, um, the, the exhibition, the installation, is also like a travel. We are walking through the, uh, the 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 drawings and so on. There is a strong relationship to the past, to the all the memories, uh, and um, and uh, and for you, uh, it was important, of course, to have this kind of installation in this way because it makes sense uh, with the contents. Uh, yes. I, I guess, uh, yes, of the, the works. Absolutely, yeah, I think that it's one same thing. Uh, yeah. Is one. I think uh, the, the the space at Frag allows me to to install the whole piece as a piece of narrative, a walk-in narrative, a three-dimensional narrative, and that was very important. In Venice, uh, we had a room which was a very nice room, but it was too small and narrow to allow us to have this because um, the idea of the tripod is very much about reconfiguring. Venice through the camera mm. and so it allows us to do this. The physical arrangements of the frame here uh, at the frac instead of on the wall in Venice, the Biennale, basically it's a reconfiguration of this abstract Venice, a Venice that you have to discover. So when an audience comes into the frac gallery to look at the viewing, they have to really discover each piece. They have to maneuver through the very narrow gaps. They have to actually siphon the chaos within it and also the kind of the and I think Venice is one of those cities that is very involving of the audience the person who's in there and we the installation here at the frac definitely that was a key idea to involve the audience as you notice some of the models are very low which forces you to really squat down and look at it some of them you have to peep across and so, so forth so it's not a kind of um, so the installation reflects our perception of what Venice physically is reconfigured as. Thank you.